So I was just sniffing nice our, our special guest this morning. Kimberly Walsh Yay! is here. Yay! She does smell good, doesn't she? Always. always. Whenever you, uh, wait, is, that, is that just at the, this time of the morning or you tend to be a kind of sweet smeller um, throughout the day? I'd like to say that I smell sweet pretty much all the time. I do try. We used to have uh, a smellometer in the studio, Joanne Travel, didn't we? Do you remember we used to get like... Uh, we did. We used to sniff That's all our guests. And number one was JLS, but now they've split up. Yeah, we have what a new happens now? Number one spot. Yeah. yeah. That might be yeah. something new. Exciting. We had about me, I smell all right, don't I? Always gorgeous, yeah. But uh, who else? We had broth smelt quite nice when broth came in. That's going yeah, to go back a little bit. It's a good bit. test as well, isn't it? Like testing people at that time in the morning just to check, check they're them nice and the fresh. Exactly. Do you know yeah. the worst? Russell Brand. Oh. He was down near the bottom. Always oh, a bit wrong. One of the wanted was particularly nippy. <laughs> if I, I can't remember. I can't remember. No Mitt way. Which one. Sold him out. Uh, and the other one, uh, Dynamo, the magician. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, that was him when he came in. Yeah. Yeah, he was smelly. a bit smelly. Yeah, you see, see, you this might... rock and roll lifestyle. If well, you live that, then you're not going to smell too fresh. You might yeah. be able to hide a pencil in a lemonade bottle, but he still whiffs a bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a pleasure, Jamie. Kimberly, having oh, you back on the to show. Be here always. Aww. Lovely to see you. You've got. Uh, I'm saying you've got. Because I know now that now a girl's allowed to know more that you're you've you've started doing some acting as well. I know. Um, well, yeah. I say started. You've been doing it for a while, but you got a new film out, haven't you? Is that um, right? Yeah, I just. Um, the film was just out a couple of weeks ago, All Stars, where I played a mum, the mum of a 12-year-old, which is a bit of a reality <laughs> check. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not possible. Oh, yep, yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> but no, I love acting, actually, and I think, yeah, now that me and the girls have kind of gone our separate ways, and hopefully I'll get to do a bit more acting at some point. And how was being a mum? Did that kind of make you think maybe, you know, it's time for me to... And start a family. Do you know what? I am quite broody, but I've got a little nephew. He's two. So I had him same. to stay for the so first time on my own at the weekend. Oh, but yeah, it is. And it just was a success. He was fine. Right. Good. All night. Clean, <laughs> he was fine. I mean, I did just, you know, sit up and watch him sleep just to make sure. But <laughs> still, he survived. So, yeah, good Aww. practice at the moment. Oh, Katie on Newsday just had her baby, haven't you, Katie? That, uh, oh, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. And he, what's his name? Caster. Caster, yeah. Why, do we know why that, why, why Caster? Is that, is it uh, after the sugar or the wheel, no. wheels? Is it, what is it? It's, uh, we panicked. We thought we were having a girl and a boy arrived early and we just picked a name out of the baby book. Oh. Do you think Kimberly yeah. should start a family? I don't know why we decided. Absolutely. Yeah, well, we're all going to... Yeah, we Kimberly decide, yeah. We'll all, have a, we'll all have a vote and uh, we'll decide whether Kimberly should start a family. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what... We'll... Uh, sorry about this, Justin. <laughs> no, it's what really Justin? Like... Why, I'll tell you really? what we'll do, though. Actually, we'll park that one up because right. that's a daft idea. Uh, we do have, though, a very sensible challenge for you this morning, Kimberly. Oh, really? All will be revealed. Are you looking at me as well? Yeah, you're involved as well. Have you told you... <laughs> Of course you are. All will be revealed in just a couple of minutes time. 25 to 9 on Heart Breakfast, Wednesday the 29th of May. Kimberly Walsh, our special guest uh, this morning, who's come to tell us uh, all about the Sky Rides. Yes. Now, first of all, uh, just give us a quick idea about what a Sky Ride actually is, Kimberly. So there's loads of Sky Rides happening all over the country over the summer. Some local rides, so you can check it out on goskyride.com and see where they are near you. Right, but okay. I'm actually going to be at the big um, Leeds City Sky Ride ride on the 7th of July. I'm going to be uh, kicking that one off. Right. It should be fun. <laughs> on your bike? On a bike? On a, on a bike. On a oh. real bike. <laughs> but they're going to close all the um, streets down, so it's really safe, obviously. And anyone can come down at any point in the day. You can join it and finish wherever you want. So it's just a bit of fun. Correct? Okay, so the London then, the London, what kind, do we know what kind of boroughs are taking part in the kind of London sky? Yeah, just I give know, us a couple of the ideas. There's going to be one in Croydon, Camden, right. Barnet, Lewisham, okay. so so, yeah, all over the place. Me. You could do the Barnet one, could on, I cry when I get on bikes. Really? I literally cry. <laughs> so there's gonna, I'll have a go. So, yeah, have a go. <laughs> so there's going to be lots of small bike rides around London. Yeah, and there's Sunday, some big city, city. city rides as well where they shut everything down. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, okay, because I, I, I'm going to confess something here. There's been a little bit of a communication error because uh, I, told, I, I was told that you were organising a lot of small this. bike rides... <laughs> Yeah. Right. I, I, I thought you meant small bikes. Oh, my goodness. Not oh. small 
a bike ride. Let's so see where you go. Like with little bike, like kids' bikes. We bought in a couple of little bikes for the two of you to race. <laughs> uh, we have a pink bike for a three-year-old. Oh goodness! Uh, well, they've got stabilizers. At they've least got they're not scary. They've got stabilizers. Yeah, just outside there, there's a little mutant <laughs> silver fox. It's a four-year-old. So we've set up a course around oh, the office. My goodness! One lap out to the boss's office and back. Right. And we'll see who wins. Give me a little bit of pre-warning. Yeah, she's got a skirt. Kimberly's dress is appropriately for cycling. Tight dress. blue dress and heels. Emma's got four-inch stilettos and on. And spectators. Can you see there's people waiting to see this? Come on, off you go. Out you go. Out you go. We'll right, see we who go. wins our small bike challenge in just a bit. It's 20 to 9 on Heart Breakfast. Now, you might have seen Bradley Wiggins and co. Uh, in the Giro d'Italia recently. Well, this isn't like that. We can now go live to the start of the Tour de Art uh, around the Heart office, starring Emma Bunton. Oh, hello. <laughs> and Kimberly Walsh. Oh, my gosh. If you could see us now, honestly. Can you see our bottoms, Jamie? I have arguably... <laughs> The best view of Did all. You uh, <laughs> where no, I am. I'm really paranoid. <laughs> okay, on your marks, get set, go. <laughs> and they're off. <laughs> Sliding climb up to the producer's effort. And to Emma Bunsen's get off to an absolute flying start. Kimberly Walsh and Keen in a hot pursuit as they round the first bend. But it looks like Emma Bunsen's going to storm to the lead as she comes flying down the Keen yeah. Funnel Street. And she's won! We have a winner. Emma, how are you feeling after beating Kimberly Walsh in the inaugural Tour <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I did have a little bit of an edge on her because I'm so short mm. that um, I could get my knees over the handlebars. Get it going. I it had was... to do a bit of freestyling. Yes, she has to do a bit of freestyling going on. Uh, let me tell you, it was quite a sight. Uh, there we go. Kimberly Walsh and Emma Bunton uh, riding bikes for three-year-olds in the inaugural uh, Tour de Heart. And don't forget, of course, the uh, Sky Rides. Uh, all free for all all abilities. For more details, uh, go skyride.com. Uh, that's Kimberly Walsh there. 8.42. Heart breakfast. Oh, that's amazing. It's my karaoke song, though. I just realised, sorry, we're leaving you out a bit this morning. We're yeah. having a good old chat. <laughs> Jamie's in the middle eating his tangerine. Yeah. <laughs> Kimberly yeah. Walsh, our special guest this morning on Heart Breakfast with Jamie and MR. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. So, Kimberly, it, 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 just want to take you back to, to the, it was March, wasn't it, when you girls decided to go, your, when girls allowed yeah, to kind the of... end of the, last, the tour, yeah. Just, so is that, is that it then? Is that like, is that a definite split? Is that, is that the end, as it were? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it was 10 years, 10 amazing years, actually, and it just sort of came to a natural end. It really did feel like the right time, so... But yeah. what if there was, like, a kind of, I don't know, like a big sports event, like the Olympics or something? <laughs> yeah, well, you can't... Someone's going to offer you a shed load of cash to come and do another show. You know what? Would I, you, would you... Loved, <laughs> I loved watching the Spice Girls at the Olympics. It was the highlight for me. It was so exciting. Thanks, lovely. So you never know. You never know. Exactly. You never, never know. Say, you never said it. You never know when you might need the money. Isn't that right, Em? <laughs> hey. You didn't get paid for that. Yeah, exactly. What, running on those on the taxis? You know <laughs> really? You need a new agent. <laughs> uh... Just afterwards, you uh, you d you revealed you were going to write a uh, a book oh, about a tell all book. Uh, what is it? A tell all book? I don't know. Is well, it going to be the tell all? Decision I've got to make, isn't it? <laughs> That's what we like to read, isn't it? Um, do you know what? I think you just have to kind of be as honest as you can and see where that goes. Um, hopefully it's going to be interesting. It's, diffi it's difficult when it's you. You're like, oh, that's not interesting. Sure. Oh, that's not. <laughs> I guess it is. When you read it about someone else, it's more interesting. Yeah. It's a bit sort of self indulgent writing, isn't it? Because you kind of think, well, do you want to know God, about I'm me? I'm just talking about myself for hours. It's but very I think it'll bizarre. It'll be quite nice to hear after the 10 years, now you, you know, you've split and everything, to yeah. hear your perspective on everything. Yeah. And that's going to be really interesting. Have you done that, Ems? You've done a brief written. You've done a book. No, I haven't. Have you not? No. Well, it's unofficial. There's oh, I one think you should. <laughs> Can you imagine what I could write about you Jamie should. Kingston? I'm not sure that, to be honest, I don't think that's what they want to hear about. I think there's, uh, you've got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, I haven't front. done one yet, but who Would knows? Would you do I it? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't thought about it. 
You must have thought about it. No, my mum, bless, is always going, come on, we've got lots of stories when yeah, you were little, all yeah, those exactly. lovely... Clues. I'm like, mum, no, they want to hear yeah, the juicy bits. you've got a lovely family, I think it'd be a nice oh. book. I, I think I'd buy it. Oh, forget the family. Oh, I want to know about Julia. Julia. Buy, fighting, I want to know about all the infighting, about Jerry Lee. I mean, where's well, the line? Well, that would be in there, well, of we want to know all that too. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> That'll obviously be in there. But if there, is there a line? I mean, where do you draw the line? I mean, if, if you know, Kimberly's just started hers. Yeah. You'd think, is there a line? Well, we were just talking about that. You have to kind of... You have to make that call, really. Yeah. I suppose. Mm, absolutely. 8.52 uh, on a Heart Breakfast. Our special... Will you stick around for just another couple of minutes? I Is that will right? do, yep. Kimberly Walsh, our special guest Yay! this morning. It's 8.52. I don't know why. I'll okay, check with Kimberly. It's not a beautiful day. Marginally better than yesterday, that's you would say. That's yeah. the weather. <laughs> I think that's a good analysis of the day that's to good. Do the weather today. Really she's to better at weather than you. <laughs> she's brilliant, isn't she? <laughs> uh, highs of 13, but some rain, I'm afraid, forecast uh, for later on. Some sunny spells this morning, but some rain this afternoon. Uh, it's been a real pleasure. Kimberly Walsh, our special guest this morning. Thanks for Yay. having me. Lovely. Thanks for having me. And the sky rides are all great fun ways uh, to get involved uh, in yeah. cycling. Uh, go skyride.com is the website for all the details. Go check it out.